Hey class, today we're going to learn about usub and trig sub. So we'll start off with usub. So for usub, you want to pit the part of the function with a higher degree and set that equal to u. So for example, u equals x squared in this example. And the next step is you want to set the derivative of u to du, and that will be another part of the function, and you replace x values with u values. So for this example, it's the integral from 4 to 16 with du over u. Remember to change your bounds. That's a very important step. The last step for u substitution will be to solve for the integral. So for this example, your integral, when you solve it, it becomes natural log of u with u from 4 to 16, and your answer will be natural log of 16 minus natural log 4. Now on to trig sub. Trig sub is very similar to u sub, but instead of use, switching the x's to u's, you switch the x's to thetas. So if part of the function looks like it could be using a Pythagorean theorem in a right triangle, then you should make a right triangle and see if it works. And an important step to remember is that to make it a lot easier on yourself, make the opposite side of theta x. So for this example problem of integral of 0 to 1 to dx over square root of 1 minus x squared, we made a triangle where theta is in the bottom left corner, x is opposite to it, square root of 1 minus x squared is adjacent to it, and 1 is the hypotenuse. Now you can use trig functions to solve the x's, or to sub the x's for thetas. So an example is the sine of theta equals x, cosine of theta equals 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared, and d theta uh, cosine theta equals dx. Or the last two steps is very similar to the last two steps of u substitution. Uh, you want to replace the x's with theta values instead of u values, and then you want to solve the integral. So for this one, we replace the dx on top with cosine theta d theta, and the square root of 1 minus x squared on bottom with cosine theta. And oh, don't forget to switch the bounds, that's very important. Uh, after cosine theta over cosine theta is 1, so we finish with integral of d theta, which takes us to theta, and we know from earlier that theta is inverse sine of x, so you plug it, and you have to switch the bounds back, and then you plug in the uh, bounds in the integrals, inverse sine x of 1 minus inverse sine x of 0 is 1.57, and that's what you do tricks of. Anyways, all this whiteboard math is getting really boring. Let's let Michael take us on a journey. Greeting, classmates. Let's start the torture. Integrate, follow, let me be the teacher. It'll take a while, but this method's really cleaner. Replace x with u's, base of natural log is e, e. undone. The g prime of x is the derivative of g e at us. The right integral. Oh, right here, answer's real close. You can sentence. <laughs> Once you take notes with uh, us, the constant above. Oh, 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 oh. You sub integrals, they're differentiable. Put the upper bound on top. Constants in take out, it's not impossible. Oh, oh, oh. Integrals make use of triangles. One plus u with u prime on top. Constants in take out an easy obstacle. Oh 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 oh. Oh tan trig is heavy. Integral of ln plus c tan 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 cos one over c can go to cos. I mean say that I mean to x to say that. Make a triangle set of eight. The side across the letter with cross. The side below to the value we know. X over 1 equals 10 theta. Now substitute X for theta. Don't forget to change the bounds, or else your calc rate will go down. U sub integrals, they're differentiable. Put the upper bound on top. Okay, now that the song is done, I still need to do three more examples, because that's what the rubric says. So first example is another U sub, uh, or, for, or the third example, I guess, is another U sub. Uh, it's integral from 0 to pi of secant squared x times tan x dx. So the first step you want to do is set your u's and your du. So your u will be tan x, and the derivative of that is secant x squared x. So then you replace x with u, 
and you remember to replace your bounds and you'll see the bounds are zero to zero. So once you actually solve the integral, your bounds are still zero to zero. And I mean, you end up getting zero as your integral because the bounds is that thin. Okay, now I'm going to use sub number two. Okay, so for the second use sub question, or I should really say the third use sub question, uh, it's no bounds, it's 8x times e to the x squared dx. So the first step is you want to set your u and du again. So u is x squared and du will be 2x dx. So you want to replace x with u. And when you do that, you have to factor out the constant. The constants in take out, so one fourth integral of e to the u du. Uh, the third step is you just want to solve the integral, which is, I mean, it's a pretty easy integral to solve since e to the u is just itself as its integral, and then don't forget plus c. Okay, the fifth and final uh, example problem is a trig sub problem. So for this trig sub problem, it's an integral with no bounds of 1 over 16 minus x squared to the power of 3 halves. Now, 3 halves looks scary, but it really makes no difference at the end of the day. So the first step is you want to make your triangle with, obviously, you want to have x on the opposite side of theta, because that ends up helping you towards the end. Uh, 4 is your hypotenuse, and your uh, adjacent leg is square root of 16 minus x squared. Okay, uh, the second one is you want to start making your substitutions, so sub theta for x using trip functions. So some important substitutions will be x equals 4 sine theta, dx equals 4 cosine theta d theta, and the square root of 16 minus x squared equals 4 cosine theta, and most importantly, you'll see why it's important, tan theta equals x over square root of 16 minus x squared. So the third step is to solve the integral. So you have 4 cosine theta divided by 4 cosine theta cubed, which really all ends up simplifying after solving integral to 1 16th tan theta. And the reason that tan theta was important to substitute is because we now know what tan theta is. So our final answer is x over 16 times square root of 16 minus x squared plus c. Don't forget that plus c. And that's our project. Thank you.